Hi everyone, this is uh, Glutle Chelson from Enslaved, and you are watching uh, my vinyl to die for. <laughs> I prefer to listen to my music on vinyl, uh, but I'm not one of those crazy dudes, crazy collectors that uh, are crazy about getting the first press of all the copies you've got in, in the shelves. Uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, second presses, third presses, or any other official presses. Represses are just fine, as long as they're on my favorite format, which is vinyl. Um, it's not that I don't have first presses, of course, but uh, those uh, first presses I have uh, are usually uh, purchased when they come comes out, and uh, and of course if I find one uh, at the flea market or record store for a reasonable price, of course I'll get it. Still, I'm I'm not ordering. I'm, I'm not spending uh, thousands of dollars or euros or Norwegian krona on on super expensive first presses. Um, there are exceptions, of course, and uh, that's uh, why I'm here to talk about. Um, one of them is this, Angel Rat by Voivod. The reason I don't have this on vinyl was uh, I listened to it uh, at a friend's place and I was a bit puzzled. Uh, two years uh, before they released uh, Nothing Face, uh, back, back in 1989. Uh, that was my favorite Voivod album uh, up to up to the, up till then. And when Angel Rat came out, I was like really puzzled. I didn't, uh, I didn't know what to make of it. I, I was like, what is this? It's, it's not that it, it, the music itself was so weird, but uh, uh, it wasn't really, I, th I didn't think at the time of that it, th this wasn't Voivod. So um, I waited a couple of months and, and uh, suddenly I ca came over this, the cassette tape, which is actually really nice. Here's uh, yeah, lyrics, credits, a lot more than the actual vinyl uh, edition actually. There's no lyric inserts or anything like that. Uh, so uh, I bought the cassette, I, I listened to the tape on my Walkman, and it, it really grew on me. I really enjoyed it after a couple of spins, uh, I thought it was great. But I was kind of happy with uh, owning the cassette edition. So uh, I totally forgot, <laughs> forgot about ordering the, the vinyl at the, the local record stores. And yeah, it, it just passed into legend, really. That sounds really pompous. Uh, until some years ago, uh, I was discussing uh, Voivod and the Vo Voivod albums with a friend of mine, and we started started to look up uh, look uh, up um, like uh, Angel Rat songs online, and suddenly I was like, "Wow, this is actually this is really good. This is fantastic. I've got to listen to it when I uh, when I get home." So I got home and I was like uh, trying. To, from the Voivod section down there somewhere, some uh, place, and Angel Rat was missing. And I was like, I was I was desperate, what do I do? I didn't have any rack, cassette rack to play this on, and I just, I, I needed the vinyl. So I actually went online and purchased this vinyl. Uh, I think I paid around uh, 100 euros or something, a little less. It's actually a let, a lot less than it's worth today. I just looked it up today. Uh, it's like above 200 euros. Really, really expensive nowadays. But uh, I think it's worth it. It's such a cool album, uh, produced by Terry Brown, uh, the guy that uh, the guy that produced all the classic Rush albums. And the thing is, uh, this was like I think I think they they uh, wanted wanted uh, the record label or something. They wanted Voivod to take the next step to be like. Uh, the next big thing, the next uh, mainstream thing, and in a way, it was successful. I, I know that they, they went on tour with uh, Fate No More and Zone Garden as support bands. I think that tour kind of collapsed after, after uh, some shows, uh, but still, that was supposed to be a huge thing. And, and, and but I, I think it, 
I think Voivod really failed to sound normal or mainstream just because it's Voivod. They are not able to do so. Uh, they are far too unique. And uh, I think, you know, that the kind of big production, the big thing with Terry Brown, uh, big release and everything, I think that really gives this album a weird but very unique vibe. But this is like some crazy Canadian French speaking band that uh, tries to uh, <laughs> tries to reach world fame, but they are far too weird. So it, it really it really gives this album a fantastic fantastic vibe. Uh, it, it has grown to be one of my favorite albums of all time. And um, another thing, uh, I think on the song uh, Golem, or uh, Golem, I, I can't really pronounce it. I think it's a, he a Hebrew, Hebrew word, so I don't speak that. Anyway, on that song, uh, that song contains my favorite misheard lyrics of all time. And of course, every Voivod fan, every serious Voivod fan would know which line I'm talking about. So, listen to Angel Rat, purchase it for 200 euros or 200 dollars is worth it, and have a nice evening. Cheers.